Welcome back everybody to another Glios toy review. Today I have a few packages that have been waiting on my desk to be opened up and reviewed for you guys. Some that I've been very much looking forward to. We've got some fantastic looking armivores to cover, not only from one creator, but two, both of which pretty connected. We have Onel Design that released two armivore figures that look pretty freaking incredible. And we also have another Armivore and a Cray booth from Culture Pirates. You guys would know them from Bitfigs, the awesome little vending machine, Galios themed and other themes. There's a bunch of them now. Very cool line. Matt Doughty of Onel Design actually helps with the production of these. So that is going to be really cool that they kind of did a little collab in this way. And I think Culture Pirates has released Glios, like exclusive Glios in the past, but it's been a while for them to release a new figure. So it's going to be really cool to see how this one came out for them and to see the O'Neill stuff that also dropped. Now I'm saying Armivore, but these are actually the variations with the different heads that are being pushed out as a themed Armivore figure. We've got Athrodax, we've got the Gorilla, and we've even got an awesome looking dragon with some God Beast parts thrown in there. I think the dragon's actually a Wyvern, like it's a Wyvernalian or something like that. Now, these three figures are actually based off of the classic, classic 80s toy line Battle Beast. Glyos as a whole, a lot of the guys that create them were very, very much inspired by the Battle Beast line from back in the day. They've done many different revisions in the Glyos universe for these guys already. So this is very much revamping and reskinning all the classic Battle Beast style toys into the Glyos universe. So a lot of the people will catch the nostalgia waves if you were Battle Beast collectors. It's just something I'd never really spoken about before on the channel or mentioned, but this is very much like a dead accurate representation and revitalization of certain Battle Beast figures that we're going to be going over. We'll do a little comparison to show you what they looked like in the 1980s and what Glyos and O'Neill and Culture Pirates has done today with their little revamped armivore versions. So let's jump into these things. I'll kind of jump back in and talk about them a little bit here. But if you guys enjoy Glyos and enjoy the toy reviews that you've been seeing on the channel, make sure to hit subscribe, leave a like, and stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. All right, we've got our two packages here. I can't wait to open them up. We've even got, now I tore into these a little bit, but I didn't actually look at the figures. We've got little stamps on here. This is the Culture Pirate package, I believe. And I really want to look at this one first. I can't wait to see the little cray booth inside and honestly the little ape monkey man himself is going to look really sweet too so let's get it started okay let's start with the little cray booth oh yeah look at that he looks fantastic let's pop him out here gargantuan jr or something like that i believe is what he's called i love this vibrant vibrant red it looks so nice i can't wait to see it on the armivore it's just got such a nice little look to it with that black and red it's just it's so bright all these figures are going to be oh my gosh they're just all so incredibly bright it's ridiculous but i love it i love it now i'm curious if we got something else in here let's see i think i maybe spotted something yes we did we got a little freebie thrown in here from culture pirates we got ourselves a bit fig this would be my first bit fig i actually don't have any Oh man, he's so sweet. Look at this. I thought they actually squished a little bit, but I guess not. They're, they are more of a harder plastic. He's got a little flangy on there that we got to like chop off or something. But look at this. It looks like part of their Ninja series, if I am correct in that. They've got a few different ones like Sea Life. They've got Animals. They've got Ninja. And they have like a Space Glyos themed one where they have these guys with Cray booths and fade ins and all sorts of stuff. I cannot wait to look at these dudes more uh, up close and personal. I want to get a bunch of them and actually like do a full review because I think they're worth it. The line looks super nice. They've got knights too, I think. Really cool. So I'm glad they actually gave me a little freebie because that was uh, something I've been wanting to get my hands on for a little bit. Okay, Culture Pirates, let's get into the Gorilla Man himself, the Gargantuan Gorilla, as it would be formally represented in the Battle Beast lineup. One of the older figures, I think it was out of the first series, one of the original like 20 or so like that. All right, but now we've got the Ape Man. Let's get him out here. The Arm of War Gargantua, something like that. Looks super cool. He's got so many heads in here, a couple different ones. It's really nice. Let's get him out. Okay, let's see. What, what heads did we get provided? We've got the classic Wolf Arm of War head. 
that looks fire nice awesome dark black with those highlights and then we got the upgraded little armivore helmet thing the non robotic wolf head one we've got more of the i don't know stormtrooper-esque type thing which in its own right is very very dope very cool love this side to it always looks amazing and of course we also get the little gun which we will put in our our dude's hand here but let's check him out first swivel his legs around a little bit and check him out i actually don't have a lot of my armivores with the gorilla head i've only got a few figures that it was provided uh with the figure itself was this gorilla head and i think i just preferred the wolf head on it but this guy looks absolutely sick look at that oh man that looks fire let's take a closer look at the little ape head itself you can see he's got like this robotic vibe here it's very very cool from that side actually that profile view looks phenomenal let's check out the other side you know it doesn't have it's just got like the little armor head piece resting under his chin and cheekbone but this side's got the little I don't know, communication device or something like that. So that is phenomenal. I love this. Again, the red is so sharp. It, you know, a lot of the times in the Galios verse, you'll see a lot, especially for Monel, you'll see a lot of muted colors. I've noticed a lot of muted, uh, toned down colors, not as crazy and bananas. Uh, but you know what? I like both. I like how Onel does. There's kind of tame. But, you know, people like God Beast and Biomaster, they really push those vibrant colors and it looks awesome as well. So I was glad to see Onel kind of come back with some nice bright colors. Not to say Onel never does them, you know, he just doesn't do them often. I think he does more of the muted tones over the bright stuff, but it's nice to see a nice bright armivore. Super, super cool. Oh yeah, can't wait to take some nice pictures of this guy. I mean, he's got that look. He's got that nice, nice look. Where's the little gun here? Let's get it in his hand so we can complete it a little bit. There we go. Now he's firing his gun, looking sick, ready for action. And also I wanted to do a quick little comparison thing here with the original Battle Beast Gorilla and the new revitalized one. So you can see they matched up pretty dang well. Big fan of this one, big fan. It was a little weird that we had uh, like a dual thing. They released at the same time, Culture Pirates and Onel the Drop was kind of at the same time. So it confused me for a second. I'm like, did I already miss out on the ape? And I didn't realize at first, but I had to go to Culture Pirates. So it was cool to bring me back over there and tempt me to buy more of the bit figs or something like that. But not this time, not this time, just our little ape man. All right, now we're gonna go into O'Neill stuff. What do we got first? Ah, yes. So here we go. We've got one of my all time favorite armivore variants, the Athrodac, the fish piranha head monstrosity. He looks amazing. He's got the posable jaw. I, I absolutely love these guys. If I could get a head for all my armivores to be Athrodac, I would. Not all of them come like that. So when they do release the Athrodac head variant along with the armivore body and everything i absolutely am putting that on my shelf with that headpiece on because it looks so so cool now this one is based off the battle beast called killer carp you can see it matches up very very perfect with the color tones that they picked for the new onel drop it looks super super nice we're gonna go into the comparisons here so let's go check it out ah i cannot wait to check you out up close and personal looks like his leg came off the packaging that's okay let's get him out we've got oh we do have this head provided as well again looking sick in that purple very very nice purple the lockdown purple that's the color i claimed for the channel so Let's pop this guy's leg back on here. Thankfully it wasn't broken, that's good. Oh yes, and we also have the wolf head, which also looks very, very nice. Nothing too crazy with this one, just the kind of white with the little pop of color on the eye, which you just need kind of a simple thing for these, so that's fine. But let's look at the piranha boy himself. Oh yeah, the killer carp. Carp killer, I think is what O'Neill named him, but either way, it looks fire. I mean, it's got this kind of off white gray going on here. And again, this is kind of toned down a little bit and a really bright purple though. And I, I just think it works really well. Do we have scuffing? Oh, we've got some paint chipping on his head. That is a bummer, but I love the jaw. I get distracted by the jaw so much. It just looks so, so sick to talk like the little carp killer man and really just pose them however you want with the jaw muscle. Stop it. Get some help. I'm not a ventriloquist, sorry. You know, I had to attempt it, but 
that's just what it is but dang he looks really cool i love the detailed design on the little side profile here on this guy too really really cool i don't know have i done an official O'Neill review with one of the Athrodac critters? I don't think I have. I don't think they've released one of him in a while. So I think I've just only looked at older figures of the Athrodac because I do have a good portion of them. I love these guys. They look so cool every time I get one. We'll do that little comparison as well with the original Killer Carp Battle Beast figure. You can see there they matched up those color tones really nicely. I love the look of the original Battle Beast one too, and I can see why they wanted to reformat him into the Glios first, because he's a sick looking figure. And I don't think we got any extras in the, oh, did we? Oh, okay, 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 okay. We got extras, we got a little thrown in freebie, but we just had some of the joints, which is nice. It kind of, oh, not, not quite. I thought it matched him, but no, it's kind of like the off grayish blue tone for the ball joints and stuff like that which, hey, I'm all about it. I need these parts, gotta use them more. And it's always nice to get a little freebie, so thank you, O'Neill, for that. But now let's pull out the crazy looking dragon. Okay, but this one I'm also very much excited for. It burns my eyes to look at this one. It's so bright and vibrant, but I absolutely love just how crazy the colors were in this drop. This one we're going over would be from the Battle Beast lineup. This is the Skull Grotesque or Grotesque. It is from the, I believe, the fourth series in the lasers of the Battle Beast lineup. They had some kind of unique thing about their chest. I don't fully know. I haven't fully researched on the Battle Beast completely yet, although I'd love to start maybe picking some of those up here and there. They look really cool. In any case, I'm excited because whenever Onel uses some parts from God Beast, you know that figure is going to be looking awesome really really nice so that's what we got today we have some kabuto mushi parts that god beast marty uses in his little mushi figures those are getting brought over to this nice little color variation for this wyvern dragon thing this armivore and it looks freaking stellar let's take a look this one is crazy just from how bright this yellow is have they ever done a yellow like this? All you older Glios collectors that have been around for a few years with these guys, tell me in the comments, have they done a crazy bright yellow like this before? I'm sure they've done maybe like a translucent one or something like that, but this one just seems particularly bright to me. Okay, but first we will check out the little headpiece for the Armivore. Looking really nice. It's got that kind of like darker bluish green going on with the skin tone very very cool and then we've got the helmet visor whatever you want to call it also looks dope i think i don't really like this one in particular as much as i do the other color variants that we've gotten so far but it still looks nice I maybe mean, it's because the eyes kind of blend in a little bit more but still pretty cool i'm gonna keep the dragon head on though that's for sure and another interesting bit is they actually just included the god beast legs to put on them if you so choose they came with the normal armivore legs which i do appreciate that i appreciate that they wanted to give options to people but i'm gonna pop them off because i do want to see what it looks like with the god beast legs and that's kind of how they you know, advertised for this drop as well was with the God Beast legs. So we're going to throw those on. All right, there we go. They're on. And now I got to pop them back on the body here. We have a couple pieces that I'm really not sure what they're for. I'm going to have to look on the picture. These are really nice pieces, though, for good connecting points. I'm not sure what these are for, honestly. I got to look. But before we really, really look at this guy, we got to pop on his wings. And now the look is complete. The skull grotesque or grotesque skull variant wyvern, wyverlian armivore. Looking freaking amazing. Just look at that. I think that green with the bone little horns going on looks really, really fire. That looks really incredible from the side. All of them look great in side profile today. I don't know why I'm just appreciating that, but I just am. It looks really nice. And again, I'm going to comment on just how bright this yellow is. It looks crazy. And I absolutely love how he looks with the armivore legs. Looks really good like that. I'm genuinely curious what these extra parts are for, though. I wonder if I'm supposed to attach them to the legs at some point or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. He also got his gun in hand. Do we want his gun? Yeah, we'll, we'll throw it in there. Why not? I honestly need to get some, like, different weaponry for some of my armivores because they look sick with, like, swords and stuff like that. Looks absolutely 
ridiculously BA in my opinion, but the, you know, the gun is still sweet. Let's get a nice closer up look again, really quick at the chest, upper body and everything. Take a look at that nice little detail, the nice color tones on that skin, that dark green, looking fire. You know, the wings are actually staying in, which sometimes they don't. Sometimes they pop out really easily. And then you can see just how nice those God Beast legs work on this bad boy. Really fantastic. All right, so here we go. Let's do the comparison here between the two skull grotesque wyverlians or whatever. And you'll see it's a little bit different of a, a Battle Beast figure because it was like the fourth series and it was like these laser ones i guess you can see in the chest piece it had something going on in there i'm not quite sure what it was but very very cool all right but i, I haven't switched out any head pieces so let's totally look at how they're all looking here with different head pieces of course it looks freaking ba with that helmet awesome awesome we'll try it on with the other ones too why not let's see it let's see it oh yes that looks sick ah, i hate to do it after a deck i just love this head too much but we're gonna throw it on just to kind of see okay okay looking absolutely fire with those helmets all right i guess we're doing this we're gonna switch them to the little wolf head there we go okay yup yup they all look so nice with all the different heads it's great where's my other one boom bada bing bada bang and lastly let's pop on this wolf head with the wings who looking sick i love the little claws does match with the wolf pretty nicely i would say okay let's kind of line them up a little bit check them all out like that there you go and now let's immediately go ahead and just put back on the actual ones that were advertised for because they look better with these on for sure definitely the author deck putting him back on and the dragon bang ridiculously dope just as they are these guys look phenomenal again i'm just super impressed with the colors on these they look super super nice and again these two were from onel i believe they are all sold out of the wyvern and the athro deck unfortunately uh, but keep your eyes peeled elsewhere because they're definitely worthwhile figures to try to snag if you can and then culture pirates does still have the ape as of filming this video and the cray booth so if you want to go get the nice little gargantuan ape gorilla man and his little junior partner cray booth i would highly suggest going and getting it before culture pirates actually runs out of their stock of these guys too they do still have them so go support them right now make sure to get yourself some bit figs while you're at it they're definitely cool either way bravo bravo omnivores are always my favorite so i'm a little bit biased but they do look incredible and hopefully you guys agree leave a comment if you agree and then immediately after that go get yourself one of these guys that is gonna do it for today's little video thank you very much for staying all the way to the end if you did i appreciate it make sure once again second reminder hit subscribe leave a like leave a comment down below out of the three figures which one was your favorite which one draws the most nostalgia for you have a great rest of your week and we will catch you guys in the next video